Right. Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy. My brother left because he didn't get cut. Come on, read it again. He that said, I know him. We are one nation of people that God chose to be his own special people. Right. Right. Nobody else got the Lord but these people. They were the ones on the Mount Sinai with Moses. His brother come over there talking his foolishness about Egypt. And we bring out the scriptures right now showing you that the Lord destroyed Egypt. Say I'll be here because I'm repeating of the black Messiah. Come on. Oh, I got him holding something. Give me that, um, give me that, uh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two day I want to show you. Zero 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved. But find up an excuse. He said sinful man won't be reproved. He won't get corrected. Right. Because why? But find us an excuse. He's gonna find an excuse according to his will. According to his will. Not the will of God, but according to his will. Give me all the second effort real quick. 654. I'm gonna read this last one because I want you to get the understanding about this world thing and who Christ is going on. No. Everybody on the planet. He said come from Adam. Yeah. Because if the world got destroyed and Noah and his seed, yeah. they regenerated the whole earth again. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people also who God hath chosen. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world. What? Because thou madest the world Go ahead. for our sake. He made the world for our sakes. Everything in this world, brother. The birds, the trees, the grass, the air, the water, ice, rain, everything you see, God made it for us. Right. As for the other people, now you talking about as for the other people, which also come of Adam, that also came from Adam. Thou hast said, God, you said, that's Ezra saying this. Ezra saying, God, you said, he said, Thou hast said, you said, that they are nothing. He said, You said, God, they are nothing. Not us, we said, God said they are nothing, God. But be like unto spittle. You know what spittle? We spit in that little string, we got that little string. He said, they're like unto spittle. Go ahead. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. He said, you like it, the whole abundance of them. Like we that big bucket of water and one little drop come out. What, you, you gonna stop and try to get that little drop? One little drop come out, that's nothing to God. Go ahead. And now, oh Lord, Behold these heathens, these heathens, the other nations, which have ever been reputed as nothing. You said, and I know God, they always been nothing. Have begun to be lords over us. Is they not lords over us right now? Look Lord. at the Chinese. Look at the Arabs. Yeah, right. Look at everybody you're else. Right. The Africans. Right. Everybody else is over us right now. Right. Go ahead. Right. And to devour us, but we, thy people. Who thou hast called thy He said they begin to devour us and we your people God Who thou hast called thy firstborn He called this his firstborn Out of everybody oh God called these twelve tribes his firstborn Go ahead Thy only begotten Thy only begotten You said we your only begotten Go ahead And thy fervent lover And he his fervent lover He didn't love her Go ahead are given into their hands. We are giving it to their hands right now. Look around you, brother. We, you know, this wicked holiday, Christmas is about to come up, and now people celebrating it's Christmas. Not about, it's why? not about the Ethan Ethan holiday anymore. But, yeah, why are we celebrating? Because we think that we're worshiping God, but we're really worshiping the Greek, exactly. the Greek world. Exactly. It's a, go back to Nimrod and the yeah. damn uh, uh, Babylonian. Uh, if the world now be made for our sakes, all right. If the world be made for our sakes, I'm going to answer your question, sister. Yeah, just, just wait, listen. He said, if the world read. be made for our sakes, go ahead. Why do we not possess an inheritance? He said, why are we not possessing an inheritance? Why are we didn't get no riches out of this earth that belong to us? With the world, how long shall this endure? He said, how long we got to deal with this, Heavenly Father? How long we got to deal with this? What you guys say, sister? Why, um, do you Christ. say... What's your race? Look, look, because... We're lost because Christ. we've been taught the wrong stuff. These, this guy named Caesar Borgia, if you look it up on the computer, type his name in, he was Pope Alexander the sixth son. He was a murderer. He had incest, he had sex in a baby by his sister. He went around killing people, but they put his image up as being Christ. 
Right. They put his image up and say, because but this is not the Give me the Renaissance area. The book of Revelation, chapter one. No, no, chapter one, 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 real quick. The book of Revelation. No. Give me um, give me um, three forty-eight. Chapter one, verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. And Puerto Rico means rich port. You ain't Puerto Rican, you Ephraim. You from the tribe of Ephraim. That means fruitful. Puerto Rican means rich port. You ain't from the rich port. You not the rich port. That's a slave name that was put on y'all when the conquistadors came over there. They got a statue of Ponce de Leon over there. He was one of the conquerors that came over there. That's why they built El Moro, the wall around Puerto Rico. Right. To keep the con uh, conquistadors out from coming in destroying our people. Go ahead. Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So he's talking about right now the revealing of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him. Who? Which God gave unto him. He gave it to John, uh, John the Revelator. He was on the Isle of Patmos. He was in like in the prison for preaching God's word. They put him, John the Revelator, they put him on the island for preaching God's word. Right. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So God told him to write these things down. He told him to write these things in the book. Why? Because he's going to show the things that what? Must surely come to pass. Because they came preaching the name of Jesus Christ. Hold that real quick. Give me um, 2 Corinthians 11 4 for the sister. I'm going to tell you why he put this in the book. This is the image, yes. This is the image of him. This ain't him. <laughs> this is the image. Because like if somebody get wrong, they're going to say, how the person look? And they're going to make you give the description according to what, you know what I mean? You say you look. So, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Go ahead. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So God knows somebody who's going to come preaching another Jesus. He said, for he that cometh, if he come preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached. Because us as Israelites, we never preached no other. We never preached this God here. It was only one Jesus. So where does God come from? Or if you receive another spirit. I said, where does God come from? Read that real quick. First Maccabees 3, verse 48. Go ahead. And lay open the book of the Lord. They lay open the Bible. Say where you at? They lay open the Bible. We are in the heathen. We're in the heathen, the other nation had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They painted the likeness of their images. This is called a kind of chasm. They took the dark pictures and made them light. They took our pictures and made them light. Paul, John, uh, Matthew, all these people in the Bible, Moses, they made them all light. Making them try to whiten their skin in the pictures. Go back, go ahead. Now if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, go ahead. whom we have not preached, go ahead. or if you receive another spirit. What's that other spirit? Because you got a lot of effeminate homosexuals in the church and stuff like that. That's an other spirit that they, they, they preaching that we ain't supposed to preach. They say God is love, love, love. But they ain't telling you what the love is is God. In the, uh, 1 John 5 and 3 he said, this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. Us keeping his commandments, that's the love of God. Not just love, 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 and you just out there just speaking love. That's us keeping his commandments, right? Which he have not received, or another gospel, which he have not accepted. And that other gospel, that other gospel is these coming out of this, 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 to confuse the people. This guy's a real man. His name is C. John Borgia. Look that name up. Go ahead, Revelation, real quick. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Yeah. So we go, we go. All right, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. This guy's hair is not white like wool. He is dead here. He ain't got one here. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Go ahead. And as white as snow. So that's like one. His head, he had woolly hair and it was white. That's like one of his guys. But, and his eyes were the flame of fire. You know how you drink blood? Your eyes, the white of your eyes turn red. That's how they say his eyes are going to flame of fire. Because Christ drank blood. But, and his feet. And his what? His feet. Is your feet the same color as your head? To find brass. Like on the fine brass, right? Brass is the brownish color. As if they burned in a fire. 
furnace. As if they burn in the furnace. So if you burn anything in the furnace, that thing turned black. You can burn a quarter in the furnace, it turned black. This is not just God. He was given a description of Christ right here. So that's why we say this is the image of the beast, because if you read Revelation 13, sister, they tell you that if we worship this image, if we, if we didn't worship this image, we didn't put to death. Let me show you about him. Look what they did. They didn't worship him. See what they did? They got a rock on He was a king. He's the king. They burned him at the stake because why? Wow, he didn't want to worship that image. Look what they did. They hung him up by 13. They made him dive in the water and get cold and stuff out the water. They made us worship him and we didn't want to worship him. Look what they were doing, cutting their nose off. And this is the book uh, called um, uh, Bartolome de, yeah, de la Casa. This is my name, Bartolome de la Casa. Puerto oh. Rico, Flame of Resistance. Yeah, you got plenty of books that show all these historical things that happened against us, sister. But that's why we say that's the image of the beast. All right? Ready to get the fire? Yeah, I got it. All right. I got it. All right. Everybody listen up. Tonight, tonight's class is going to be uh, another proactive lesson. Very proactive. Some of y'all might be nervous and afraid, but it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. There's a movement against Israel to try to shut the nation of Israel down and or, yeah, that's the movement. But guess what? They shall fail. Everyone that comes against the word of the Most High shall fail. Because the God, the Most High said his word shall stand forever. Believe that. His word shall come to pass. He said all his counsel, it shall stand we're going to open up with Daniel, chapter 7. You have a lot of uh, non-believers out there, Negroes. See, the white man ain't going to come up against us until we crush all these Negro philosophies. And that's what's going to happen. The Most High is going to make this thing speed up. And these Negro philosophies, Latino philosophies, they're going to either get rolled over or fall in line. They only got those two choices. Joining Israel. Joining Israel. Hmm. <laughs> that sounded like a simple class. Okay. <laughs> 